Everyone, this is Andrew. In this video, I want to show you some transitional screaming stuff from a song Pathos, which I have in my channel um, by my last band. Um, and I, I do it all the vocals and then the recording. I recorded everything separately, obviously, because that's the way you do it. But I always kind of wondered if I could do it in one go. Um, now, I can kind of do it with the singing part in there. I'm, if you know the song, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll see it. Um, there's like a singing part in the middle of all the screaming stuff. And I can do it with it, but it's like it sounds rushed if I do it. I can do all the screams fluid and it sounds all right. So I'm going to skip the singing part because I usually focus on screaming. <clears throat> and I haven't really warmed up, so my singing is not that great right now. <laughs> I've just been screaming all day, so it's, you know, I'd rather not. Um, but yeah, so I hope we get the volumes right. I'm just going to show the screaming parts until the first kind of vocal break. Um, and then if I don't forget to hit the stop button again, I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit of stuff. Here we go. We kept alive, but we're still not in a solid. We are surprised, and deep are analyzed. We are the stars, and all revolves around us. We sustain the battles that we are. We simply write what we wanna be We never go out and do things The world was made for us The world will bow to us Alright, so that's the part And as you can tell I'm... Um, I don't know what I, beep I just got As you can tell, I'm not really that out of breath um, It is pretty exhausting Because that, that's like harder for me to do um, Just because it's so constant back and forth Different kinds of screaming um, the really only obstacle in that is the low screams. Uh, the low screams really, um, I don't know, it's just, they take a lot more air even after you get better at them. Before, I think I could last like four seconds, but now, if I were to go for it, just, yeah, it's much better. It also sounds better. Um, and it took a lot of pride to get to that. I'm sure it gets better, but it's still much harder than just a, yeah. Which takes like no air, and I think I have a video I do it for like 20 seconds or something, and I'm not even that bad. I've done better. Um, so, you really have to focus on getting the breath very refined in both your kinds of screams, otherwise, you won't be able to do stuff like that. Um, so, it's really about, you know, if your scream, your low scream lasts like five seconds, you can't sustain it, that's gonna be your limiting factor. So, you need to work on that. You need to kind of take the breath away from your low scream, so instead of sounding like, ah, when you do it, you need to be like, yay! It needs to be very like throaty and tight. I should, you no, know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt more. It's just you're you're instead of pushing more air to get the sound, you're controlling the muscles in your throat that create the sound, which are your false chords. Um, so as opposed to pushing more air to get it and hurting yourself more, you're just tightening the things that you use to make the sound more and using less pressure. Or pressure might be the same, but the air, the amount of air is less. It's actually traveling through your throat. Um, so you know, it's the sound of ah. Sounds very, uh, very throaty, and it kind of hurts a little bit, but... Yo! 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 Like that's, you know, um, it feels way better, and it, it sounds better than just that. Yeah! Like, I don't really do the high, the high low screams much, because um, it's more of a death metal thing. But for the low screams, it sounds much tighter. So, like, um, I'm trying to think of an example... To kind of show you. I know in this protest the hero song, I don't know the name of when I mean, there's just like and it's a high scream like that. Um so that's the only non deathy one I can think of. But you know, low screams, uh, Born of Osiris and also protest the hero. And between the buried and me they use that kind of scream, but you need to be able to get the throatiness out, otherwise you're never gonna be able to cover their songs. Um if you try to do any kind of um BT Bam stuff between the buried and me without being able to do a low scream that doesn't take all your breath, you're never going to be able to make it through because, you know, those long screams like in the end of White Walls where it's White Walls White Walls You need to be able to sustain it for a while and keep it from dying out. Um, so focus on getting your breath minimalized as much as possible. It'll save you wear and tear in your throat. And it will cause you to, it'll help you to last longer, and it will um, sound better, um, as I think the example showed you. Um, and the song that I have, I think, is a great example of it. Um, there's a lot of other songs you can do that with. Like, there's this part in that Protest the Hero song, 
I think it's Drumhead Trial. They're like, Bring us the sun! Bring us the rain! Bring on the gestures and bring us the pain! Bring on the storm! Bring on the rain! Bring us the gestures and bring on the pain! It's a perfect example, and you can never do that unless you have perfect control over both. So if you're high screams, you can't sustain very long, you're very breathy, you're never going to be able to do that kind of stuff. Um, so... Yeah, that's really the point of the video, to point out those things. I've, my last video was a low screaming video focusing on removing breath, so um, check that out if you want to... Um, more tips on how to take out the low... Um, take out the air in your low screams. The high screams you naturally take less air, but some people might have problems with that, so... Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Rate this video if you enjoyed it. Or rate it, I guess, if you didn't enjoy it. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.